Which of the following expressions is equivalent to the one given above? If I look at this given expression, I want to focus on the denominator at the moment because it's a current mess. I don't like how that looks. I want to clean it up a little bit. And here's how you clean it up. Put this in parentheses and we're going to multiply by a common denominator, which is made out of the two things that make it a fraction. These two binomials right here, x plus two and x plus three. So I'm going to put those in parentheses just like this. But you got to remember, if I multiply the denominator by that, I also have to multiply the numerator by the same thing in order for that to be a legal move. Here's what's happening here. You're really just multiplying by one because anything divided by itself equals one and one times anything, you will get the same thing. One times this is going to be just the same thing. So it's gonna be x plus two times x plus three at the numerator. The bottom, I'm gonna to have to end up distributing these two binomials to each one of these terms. Here's how it's gonna look like. It looks a little messy, but I promise you, we're gonna end up cleaning this up. On the top, you're gonna to end up distributing this part right here. So that's gonna end up being x squared plus five x plus six on the numerator. In the denominator, let's do this term by term. Focusing on the first term, if you got the same binomial in parentheses on the numerator and denominator, those are going to cancel out. And that was the whole purpose of multiplying by this common denominator. We're going to end up not dealing with any fractions. And looking at the second term, same thing is going to happen, but x plus 3 is going to cancel out. And I'm left with x plus 2. 1 times that binomial is just going to be x plus 3. 1 times this binomial is just going to be x plus 2. I'm going to end up with this expression right here. And at this point, you can kind of tell what the answer is, but we might as well finish this in the legit way. The last part, all we got to do is combine like terms right here. You're going to end up with this expression, which is letter choice B. I hope this was a good review for you. If it was, don't forget to throw a like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. Peace.